Designed and manufactured by the Wayland yutani Corporation, the Conestoga-class light assault carrier was the primary troop deployment vessel of the United States Colonial Marine Corps and was purpose-built to carry all of the necessary equipment, troops and auxiliary vehicles needed to establish a foothold on a distant world or to coordinate marine operations from high above a planet's surface. 385 metres in length with a dry weight of 78,000 tonnes, the Conestoga's frame is long and narrow with a large cylindrical housing at the ship's aft to which a pair of GF-240 propulsion rockets are fixed. The vessel is capable of carrying 2,000 troops in hypersleep capsules and under emergency circumstances its hangars and cargo decks can be used to increase its passenger capacity even further. Though vessels of the class normally carry up to 90 crew, they are designed for fully automated operation and the ship's Carbon-60 computerised mainframe can support full interstellar journeys without the need for active crew members. Though designed Designed as a troop transport, the Conestoga class eventually fell into a secondary role as a light attack ship, due in no small part to its extensive weapons complement. Laid into its bow, the vessel carries a pair of 800 megavolt particle beam cannons, capable of either melting a target's hull at up to 250 kilometers range, or disabling its electronics and instrumentation with a lower intensity beam. Fixed to both its dorsal and ventral primary hull, the Conestoga sports twin-linked railgun turrets for close quarters engagement and loaded into several VLS tubes. The ship carries eight long lance ASAT missiles, useful both for supporting the ship's railguns in CQB or eliminating fleeing hostiles at medium range. In a more defensive role, the ship also boasts a pair of infrared point defense lasers, capable of vaporizing incoming railgun slugs or missiles, and within its ventral loading bay, the vessel stores up to 60 orbital mines, enough to render a large portion of a planet's gravity well inaccessible to hostile ships. As its primary means of troop deployment, the Conestoga carries several UD-4L Cheyenne dropships. Each of these craft are able to carry up to 60 passengers and are capable combat vessels in their own right, sporting a 25mm Gatling cannon as well as two retractable missile pods compatible with a wide variety of warheads. Cheyenne dropships assigned to Conestoga class vessels were most often loaded with a single M577 armoured personnel carrier from the warship's vehicle bay. These APCs carried a heavy arsenal of Gatling cannons, plasma accelerators and automatic mortars were able to load up to 13 Colonial Marines in full combat gear and doubled as an effective short-range command vehicle using their extensive suites of sensor and communication systems to provide support to Marine fire teams. Throughout its service history, 36 Conestoga-class vessels were constructed, and the model earned substantial renown for its dependability and sturdy frame, until eventually the craft was superseded by the newer Bougainville-class attack transport, a vessel whose own design was heavily influenced by that of the Conestoga. Being famously reliable as a long-haul attack transport and unusually effective as a combat frigate, the Conestoga-class light assault carrier was an unquestionably valuable spacecraft, and the influence it succeeded success exerted over future warship designs served only to strengthen the United States Aerospace Defense Force. Thank you for watching Space Doc. Please remember to like, subscribe and share for more science fiction spacecraft summaries. If you enjoy the channel, why not consider pledging your support on Patreon? For just $1 a month, you'll be able to access the Space Doc schedule to see what's coming up.